Hi everyone, I am Hema Shriyam. In today's video, I am going to show you how to add person column in SharePoint online list and document library. What is this person column? It is a column type in SharePoint online list and document library. It is used to get a searchable list of people and groups of the organization and we cannot set a default value here. Basically, we are picking a person from, a, or from an organization. There are two different ways to create a person column in SharePoint Online using add new column in modern experience and site setting. We used to do it classic experience. Let me explain you with an example. Assume that I am HR in a particular organization and need to add the employees who work in that particular organization. So, I will create a SharePoint Online list as employee details and add the columns as employee ID, employee name, employee department. Using this personal group type column will show the department also. Let's see practically how to do it. Open your SharePoint site. Now I will create a new blank list. Click on the plus new button. Choose list. Blank list. And I will provide the name as employee details. Try to, give, try to avoid the space here. Click on the create button. Now we can see that employee details list has been created. Now I will rename this title column as employee ID. Employee ID has been created. Now I will create a column as employee name. Click on the add column. Choose person or type column. Person. Click on the next button. Provide the name as employee name. In description box, provide the details of a column. Type is already chosen as person or group column. More options. In allow multiple selection, if we provide yes, user can select the multiple people's. Require that this column contains information. It allows user to set that this column is important. Enforce unique values. If we set as yes, this enforce unique values is like similar name should not be repeated. Name. For example, if the user chose my name already, they cannot choose me again. Then click on the save button. Now the employee name has been created. Now we can see that person type column is created as employee name into the SharePoint list. Let's add the items to it and display how it looks. Click on the plus new button. Provide the employee ID. Zero one. Now we'll pick a person from an organization. I'll give the sonom. Click on the save button. Now we can see that sonom is added from our organization. But I, but I need to show a department also. So what I'll do, I'll create a column using list settings. Click on the setting icon. Choose settings, scroll down and click on the create column. Provide the column name as employee department and choose the type as person or group type column. Description box, employee, sorry, in description box, employee. Details already explained. This column contains information. We need this column should be important. Choose yes. Similar name should not be repeated. So I'll provide yes. Allow multiple selection. No, we don't need any allow multiple selection. No. User can choose only people or the people and groups. I'll choose people only. Now in the show field, I'll choose the department. Using this person or group type column, we can show the fields like uh, the title, first name, last name, 
or their mobile number also but i need to show the department so i'll choose the department now click on the okay button now click on the okay button navigate now we can see the person type column is created as employee department let us add the items to it and display how it looks i'll choose i'll choose sonam only see give this, this value already exist in the list so which give we gave the enforce unique value so it's not taking the sonam's name so i'll give the preeti name now click on the save button so we added the employee as preeti sahu and it is showing the department also person column is created using list settings this is how we can create a person column using list settings i hope you guys like this video thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel to get more free videos on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you